Hi folks, Glenn here from Digital Photography Courses. So this is the story about how one of these, a common or garden loo roll, became one of these, which is a quick polar finder for the Skywatcher Star Adventure. There's also one for the iOptron Skyguider Pro. Um, Basically what happened was the folks at Move Shoot Move was uh, showing a potential prototype for uh, adding a quick finder to use with a Skywatcher. And um, when I saw that, their prototype actually involved unscrewing all sorts of bits and pieces here. And I said, um, I've already got one of those. And I actually showed them my uh, sort of prototype, which is basically just simple tube it's just a loo roll that's just rolled up and then you can pop the laser inside the tube. Uh, prior to this I had actually already made a bracket because I think we all have to agree that being able to line the, uh, the move shoot move with a laser is so quick and I just thought I want to do that with my Skywatcher. So the very first thing I did was actually you made a bracket like this to fit on the Skywatcher and then used the uh, move shoot move brackets, laser bracket, and just pop that in there and that was able to use that to laser align with. And that was pretty accurate, that wasn't actually too bad at all. Um, then somewhere uh, I saw somebody mention that you could actually shine the laser through the eyepiece, uh, but of course it's actually quite difficult to hold that in place, so I came up with this idea of using this tube. And um, as I say, uh, so if we just pop this on here and you could pop that onto the back, there we go, and you could shine your laser through and then all you would do is you would get yourself lined up with Polaris and all this would really do is get the sort of this polar scope uh, centered so that you could got pol the uh, Polaris within the viewfinder or within the polar scope uh, and then just slide that back off. Now the reason this has got tape around it is because what I tended to find that as I took this off you tend to rotate it a bit and that would change the focus so that's why there's a little bit of tape just around there. Then the folks at Move Shoot Move said you know they got this idea to make a similar idea and they had a prototype and their prototype actually as I say involved unscrewing this back end and I thought hmm so I sent them my prototype pictures and they said we like that and we're going to manufacture something based on that so what they did was they came up with this idea and uh, now when I saw the prototype for this this was actually made out of plastic and I imagine this one would be but in actual fact it's actually made out of very nice um, machined aluminium and what we need to do is there's also one for the iOptron Skyguider Pro I haven't got one of those, so I can't comment on that one. But uh, all we need to do is you need to unscrew this top part just here. That's on there, so you need to unscrew that and screw that into the back of mount. Like so. Now this does contain a rechargeable battery which is accessed here at the back and when you get it please remember to remove the white plastic disc that is in there because if you don't it won't work and there's your rechargeable battery and it does you will please know actually come with a battery charger and I know a lot of people will be pleased about that and so all we need to do is this now slides onto the back of the Skywatcher screws into place, switch it on and look up towards Polaris, there we go and we're pretty accurate, that's pretty close actually and there we go, we need to line it up, we're not far off and the old, there we go, that's brilliant and then we can switch that off and looking through the scope and we're pretty close. Actually, in fact, it's probably in the, just off the centre. And what we need to do, now we need to use our polar clock. And using our polar clock there, you can see in this occasion, we need to line Polaris up at this point here. But obviously yours will be different depending on your time and location. And so we now have to fine tune. 
Okay, uh, here's a little bonus tip for you. If you can't see the reticle, um, there is actually a gadget that Skywatcher provide, this thing here, but I find it quite sort of a bit pointless really, to be quite honest with you, and I'm surprised I haven't broken it or lost it by now. Uh, but one little idea, and I think we got this from Alan Wallace, so uh, what he did was put, and I think he found it from somewhere else, is put a bit of um, luminous tape just inside the hole here, and then give it a good old blast with a torch. Around about five to ten seconds should do the job. There we go. In fact, it's glowing nicely there now. And then, ah, that's better. We can now, it's got a lovely glow. And all we need to do is fine tune a little bit that way. There we go. Up a bit. And we are good. Perfect. Great stuff. So that's it. We are polar aligned. Obviously now you would need to put your camera on there, your brackets or uh, whatever and you would now obviously go off and point at your target. I would then just go and do a quick fine tune just to make sure that everything's still aligned once you've been moving things around. So there you go guys, super quick video. Hope you found that useful and uh, please subscribe, comment and all that sort of stuff. Okay, see you again sometime, bye.